There's been an epidemic of anti-immigrant hysteria all over the country the last couple of years. Let's kick them out. They're illegal. Illegal aliens. Illegal immigrants. It's illegal aliens. Illegal aliens. They're illegal aliens. But you'd think that if any place was going to be a safe haven for immigrants, it would be at colleges and universities. But that doesn't seem to be the case at Pomona College. They've joined in the wave of anti-immigrant hysteria. Nestled in the hills of beautiful Claremont, California, Pomona College is esteemed for being one of the more liberal and cutting-edge institutions in America. Its faculty, staff, and alumni have been passionately loyal to the school. When I started working at Pomona, I was making $8 an hour, and nine years later, in 2009, I was making $10 an hour. In 2010, after we started organizing, I got uh, a $3 raise. Unfortunately, her raise did not last long. In November 2011, workers at Pomona College received letters demanding they produce documents verifying their eligibility to legally work in the United States or they would be fired. The decision came in the midst of a union drive that has been opposed by the administration. Why did Pomona demand these papers from its workers? The Board of Trustees claims it received a complaint about its hiring practices and therefore it had to investigate. Mi nombre es Carmen, estoy trabajando aquí por 11 años y estoy aquí primero que todo para decirles que esto me parece un es muy indignante y es una humillación muy grande que nos están haciendo todos. These were workers who were loyal to Pomona College. They were workers who put their sweat blood and tears into this college and they deserve better. Pomona College Chairman of the Board Paul Efron, an advisory director at Goldman Sachs and Company, said that it was, quote, the board leadership that made the decision to investigate employees. I've heard of anti-immigrant companies firing workers for alleged documentation issues, but I've never heard of a college doing that. I have a two-year-old son and for me it's probably it has been more difficult because of him because everything that i do is because i try i do it for him you know because i want him to have a better life on december 2nd 2011 carmen and 15 other workers were fired some of the fired employees had worked at the college for more than 20 years and many of the fired workers were union supporters. The college has refused to remain neutral about the workers' efforts to unionize. Pomona is a college, not a greedy corporation. Send a message to chairman of the board, Paul Efron, telling him to respect the wishes of Pomona's dining workers.